player GA has to grapple with age, realizing they've lost a step or two against the young fellas. And sometimes that is a very slow realization. Oh, it, it is, Kevin. Hopefully, by that point, it's less about financial security and more about prolonging the inevitable, simply for the love of the game. And for Detroit, Isaiah Stewart out there with Paul Reed. Then there's Tobias Harris. Then there's Hardaway. And it's Ivy in at the point. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Kevin, thank you. Tobias Harris, over the course of his career, has played a lot at both forward positions. He says, I'm comfortable playing both of them. I'm not big on the position thing. I'm versatile. Kevin, he's just a basketball player and a very, very good one. I would agree, David. I know you like him. We like him as well. A very skilled one at that. Thank you very much. And what you got to like about Christian Wood is he's a worker. He gives you that elite effort on pretty much every play, and coaches love that. First one falls for the Pistons. Jalen Duran. He's checked in for Reed. Asar Thompson comes in for Harris. And Kate Cunningham subbed in for Tim Hardaway Jr. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And you look at the Detroit Pistons, uh, Stan, uh, so much young talent, but the chemistry is a work in progress, clearly. Well, it is, Kevin, and they're working on it, but it's hard with so many new faces, and they still need a second and third guy that they can build around. They've got a lot of good role players, but they need a couple more stars. Pistons trail by six. Thompson surveying the floor. Lays it up off the glass. Got to do more than this to stop Thompson. He's used to having to fight through contact. Russell kicks to LeBron. Three-pointer. Thompson with the rebound. Defensive breakdown there. And they got lucky. He's not going to miss too many of those. Ivy passes to Durant. Russell against Cunningham. Over Russell. The Lakers with the rebound. Woods got four rebounds now tonight. Pass to Davis. owning the pain and gets it to go. And Davis shoots a high percentage because he's so adept at playing to his strengths. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Cunningham against LeBron. Just four to shoot. That one's in there. The Lakers lead is cut down to just four points in the bucket from Cunningham. Yeah, that's a shot that Cunningham is very comfortable with. No problem with the mid-range. Loads it up for Davis, and it's Davis finishing it off. And really with the off-the-charts explosiveness, Davis just punishes opponents on those alley-oops. Stewart against James. Stewart passes to Cunningham. Christian Wood grabs the rebound. Woods got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And, and they continue to control the glass. Putting that pass right in his stride. Didn't have to slow up and was able to complete the play. To the wing on the left. A shot by Stewart with no one around. Duran, and there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Well, the numbers will show that Duran is one of the top offensive rebounders in the game. 
He is a high motor player. LeBron going to work inside. Yeah, he's in such a great rhythm right now. Makes sense to get him the ball any way you can. Yeah, when you have a guy playing like he has been recently, he's got to be the first option on every possession. Passes it to Cunningham. Hits the three-point bomb. Cunningham's got 29. Well, that's now his third triple of the game. First here in this second half. Now Davis. 16 points for him. And it's Russell missing. Thompson in the corner. This one for three. Christian Wood grabs the rebound. Wood's got six rebounds here tonight. Thompson against Reeves. LeBron outside. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Stan, you've been on the bench in the NBA for many decades. What were some of your biggest pet peeves as a coach? Oh, my gosh, Kevin. That would be a long list. But <laughs> the two biggest would be this. I think, number one, anytime there was a lack of effort, not running back on defense, things like that, that I had a hard time tolerating. And then mental breakdowns, things we had prepared for over and over and over again and then guys just zone out and and forget what they're supposed to do those were things that were hard to uh, tolerate especially when you would take such care in preparing them in every way it's got to be just uh, excruciating frustrating as heck the feel LeBron has for the game unreal whatever situation he finds himself in he always seems to have an answer. Here he goes. Here's Fontecchio. Drops in the tray. Fontecchio's got 14 points for the game. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Reeves outside. The pass to Davis. Outside, Russell. Over Cunningham. Russell with the bucket. He's got 15. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. And Cunningham with the slam. Well, this is the story of the night for that defense. They have not been able to contain Cunningham. James looking it over. Russell inside. Cunningham's there. And finished off by Davis. Super work on the boards. Boy, they really want to put their foot down on him now. Yeah, and once you've got him on the ropes, Greg, just keep swinging away. Yeah, this is the spot where coaches want you to be relentless. Don't even give them a glimpse of him. And that's a testament to Ivy's strength. Remarkable job converting through the contact. Thompson against James. James driving. And the shot goes in. And the Lakers lead by five. Well, he consistently attacks the basket. And this is the perfect time to do it. They want to extend their lead before crunch time. From downtown. And it's Fontecchio missing. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. Here's Russell. Lays it up and banks it in. And now a seven-point Laker lead. And defensively, they are on their heels time out, time every out. time the ball comes inside. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. Anthony Davis really making a difference here. Well, the defense has not been able to slow him down inside. And until they offer some sort of resistance, just keep feeding him the ball.
Harris is checked in for Asar Thompson. And then for the Lakers, Hachimura is checked in for LeBron. Christie comes in for Austin Reed. And Vincent subbed in for Russell. Back to Duran. Cunningham outside. Let's it fly from 18. Second chance shot. Duran, no good. Well, you got to finish at the rim right there. You hate seeing those opportunities go to waste. Ivy against Christie. Davis, the pass to Vincent. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. After a solid rookie campaign, coach, Jalen Duran had a breakout sophomore year. Well, Kevin, Jalen Duran knows who he is. Average in a double-double, but he stays within himself. Doesn't take very many jump shots. Shot well over 60%, and he has got a great motor. Pass to Christie. Loads it up for Davis, and it's blocked. Well, Duran making his physical presence known. Ivy kicks to Cunningham. Pass to Fonjecchio. Harris against Vanderbilt. To stop the drought. That one's in there. The Lakers lead is cut to just five points in the basket from Harris. A solid 6-8. Harris can more than handle his own inside. Really an overlooked part of his game. They get a hand on it. Oh, and here we go. Cunningham heading to the hoop. And checking out some numbers for LeBron James. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Lakers? Well, I love how aggressive they've been. They've been taking it right into sure, contact, sure. and then they're going to the line and converting. And another thing, guys, they've dominated on fast breaks tonight, outrunning their opponent the entire game. And the first one drops. You know, Stan, when I think of you as a coach, I think defense. So let me put you on the spot as you assess the wing defenders in the NBA right now. Who are some of the top two or three that you notice? Well, look, there's so many good ones. My favorite right now is Lou Dort because he's so strong, he's so disciplined, and he has an amazing ability to use his body even against guys that are a lot taller. He is a frustrating guy for great scorers to play against. Now, he brought a lot to the NBA, but haven't the Thunder done a good job developing that kid? Well, they have, and look, they've got other That's great green. defenders, too, like Jalen Williams. That way. Well, that one stings. In a game where every possession counts, he just gave one away. Some changes for the Lakers. Jackson Hayes comes in for Davis, and it's Austin Reeves in for Christie. Passes it to Hardaway. That's in, coming off the assist from Cunningham. Cunningham's got five assists tonight. Boy, you could see their confidence growing. They have reason to believe. Yeah, they're in this one. They have some momentum on their side, and they just need to keep up the intensity. Los Angeles calls timeout. And Coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. Yeah, you have to take a timeout in a situation like this. Stop the bleeding a bit and regroup.
a moment to check out Cade Cunningham here. Coming off a terrific season. Averaged about 22 points per. Seven assists and four rebounds. And with his skill set on the offensive end, he is such a threat on the floor. Yeah, he's the kind of guy that makes life easier for his teammates. He demands so much defensive attention. Here's Vincent, covered by Cunningham. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. You too. So it's the Lakers now. Hardaway with it. Defended by Reeves. And what strikes me about Cade Cunningham is he's still growing. He's still capable of doing more on the floor. And he has the work ethic and attitude to make those improvements and become a real factor on the floor. Shooting two. And that drops, so they now lead by one. Coach, it didn't take long for Kate Cunningham to establish himself as the leader of this team. Well, Kevin, he's very mature for his age. He was put in a position with all young guys around him, so he had to step up. And I've never heard Cade Cunningham blame anyone else for the team's struggles. He's got everything you could want in a team leader. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. Here's Vincent. And no good. The dry spell continuing for him. By the way, that's a two-pointer. Vanderbilt with the rebound. Los Angeles has gone one of four and three-point shots here in the third. Here's Reeves. Tries yet again. Rebounded by the Pistons. Well, when he's got space to operate inside like that, he is not going to hesitate. Harris passes to Hardaway. Back to Harris. And slam dunk by Harris. And so far, Harris is having his way on offense. The defense just has not found an answer for his energy on that end. The pass to Vanderbilt. And here's Hayes. He's got five. Six on the shot clock. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. Reeves gets the bucket. And with that one, it ends an 11-0 run by Detroit. And so it's Cunningham with it. He brings it up for the Pistons. The lead is two. With the break in the action, here is the 2K leaderboard to show us the league's best shooting teams last season. The Lakers second. Hard to shoot the ball any better than they did. I mean, they weren't the best in the league, but, man, they were right there. Shooting two. That's good from Cunningham. Impeccable from the line since halftime. Stewart's checked in for the Pistons. And the Lakers also making a change. Woods checked in. And so Cunningham nails both of them. The former number one pick Cunningham has dealt with some injuries, but when he's healthy, he's always a factor. Pass to Hachimura. Pass to Vanderbilt. Here's Vincent, covered by Cunningham. Vincent misses. I'm not sure if anyone on the team has the green light from there definitely not him well that's the shot where if you make it everything's fine but if not you're going to hear about it well, he's been very reliable tonight not wasting any chances really using his head 
Reeves left side. Can't connect from 14 feet out. The points coming in bunches as we wrap up the third quarter. It's been a good one. Pistons lead by six. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. Here's Hardaway. Taking a look at Los Angeles. The guard spots filled by Russell and Reeves. LeBron James is out there with Christian Wood. And it's Hachimura in at the three. A small four. Cunningham has great length for his position. And he uses it right there. Here's Thompson, and James pulls it down. Lakers trail by six. That one falls through. It's his sixth make from the floor this game, now six for ten. And the total package, James, is so much fun to watch. Cunningham kicks to Stewart. Thompson outside. Cunningham outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Russell. Cunningham's shot is off. The Lakers shooting it pretty well, close to 50%. Here's Hachimura. Good, and it's Russell picking up the assist. Russell's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Passes it to Stewart. He feeds it to Cunningham. Over Russell. Cunningham gets the bucket. Cunningham's got 39. Well, he's been nothing short of fantastic this game. And he has his team in a great spot as this thing winds down. Here's Russell. Makes it off the glass. An active competitor. Russell won't go down without a fight, especially around the rim. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's on D'Angelo Russell. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Pistons? Well, they've been absolutely on fire from deep. And until the defense offers more resistance, the coaches are going to keep encouraging them to let it fly. And we also got to talk about the damage they've done inside. The opposition having a hard time keeping that ball out of the paint. First free throw is good. And it's easy to see why so many are so high on Cunningham. A talented guard who can do a little bit of everything. Ivy's checked in for Hardaway. The Lakers also with a sub. Davis has checked in. And so he makes both from the line. And he's made more of an effort here to put pressure on the defense in the second half and create some contact and free throw opportunity. They get it again and finish it off by Davis. And this is just AD doing what AD does, dominating the defense there and converting. Ivy passes to Stewart. Cunningham on the wing. He's guarded by Russell. Here's Durin. And Durin slams it in. An aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. It's tipped. It's stolen by Duran. Ivy with it. Defended by Reeves. Thompson passes to Ivy. The Pistons working the ball around now. Cunningham's shot is off. And we talk about the importance of protecting the rim. Right there, outstanding defense. And this is who James is, a, a guy who's always looking to pass it and involve his teammates. The pass to Cunningham. And the foul called on Anthony Davis. That'll be his second foul of the game. Quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. 
Here's Thompson. It's stolen by Hachimura. Yeah, first turnover of the game. Overall, though, he's been rock solid. LeBron James just too strong. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Thompson passes to Ivy. Back to Thompson. Ivy against Reeves. From 11 feet away. And Davis sends it back. What a play by Davis. You think you can get it over me? Nuh-uh. Not on my watch. James. Rebound, Detroit. Stewart's got four rebounds now tonight. Cunningham passes to Duran. Hachimura against Ivy. Shot clock at six. Back to Duran. Thompson from long range. Well, a careless foul, and he'll go to the line for three free throws. And there's the foul against the Lakers. Austin Reeves picks one up. And you look at Asar Thompson, coach, already imposing at the defensive end of the floor. He certainly is, Kevin. And that's what they got him to do. But it's the offensive end where he has to Reset. make strides. Especially in his three-point shooting, it's problematic for a perimeter player who struggles to get the ball in the basket. And he's good on the first of three. Well, it'll be fun to watch Asar Thompson develop over his first few years in the league. Second free throw, no good. And he nails the third. Well, not a perfect trip to the line, but he gets the one he needed to put them in the driver's seat. Russell inside, covered by Cunningham, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And that's pro. Russell gets his man a little out of position and draws the foul. throw good Russell whether it's points steals or passes Russell is out here working hard to give you what you need and that one goes in two from the line that time and he's been rock solid at the free throw line tonight a little bit of an unexpected time bonus time for them now a timeout called by Detroit. You look at D'Angelo Russell. What a contribution. I mean, he continues to burn them with his scoring. The coaching staff's going to have to come up with a different approach defensively.
A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Hey, Kevin. During that last break, I heard J.B. Bickerstaff talking with his team. The coach told his players, hey, they're feeling the pressure over there. Keep pressing. Keep fighting. They're starting to crack. Now let's get this game even. Guys? Okay, David. Much appreciated. You got it. Here's Davis. Thompson with the rebound. Pistons have gone just 33% from the field in the fourth quarter so far. They are two of six. Cunningham kicks to Ivy. Lakers with the rebound. Davis has got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. And out of bounds, the Pistons will take it. The Pistons trail it. Cunningham left side. Uses the glass to finish the way. 43 points for Cade Cunningham. Well, they wouldn't be in the position they're in without his contribution. He has tormented this defense tonight. And the Lakers turn it over again. Here's a look at what's coming up for the Detroit Pistons. On Wednesday, they'll tip off a road trip in Charlotte where they'll take on the Hornets. And then on Friday, they'll be taking on Clint Capella and the Atlanta Hawks. And for that game against Miami, that's one that stands out to me. A lot of great talent involved in that one, and I'm curious to see how they improve over the offseason. Well, what a quarter he's had. You can tell he's in the flow. They should be looking for him every possession. Pass to Hachimura. Good D by Thompson. The defense does just enough to alter that shot. Now, here's Ivy. Cunningham looking it over. Pass to Stewart. Shoots it up. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. Now it's a five-point Detroit lead. Davis, the pass to Reeves. Driving the lane. Kicks to James. It's hauled in by Stewart. Stewart's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Cunningham against Russell. Cunningham passes to Thompson. And here's Stewart. Knocked loose. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. And the Pistons making a change here. Harris has checked in. And the Pistons with possession here. It's a five-point game. Ball's knocked loose, and the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And here is Los Angeles now. Here's Ivy. And Davis pulls it down. Davis has got 14, yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Wow. Passes to Hachimura. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. Hachimura's got four this quarter. How about these big shots for him in the fourth? He has been locked and loaded offensively. Cunningham passes to Thompson. Cunningham with it. Six to shoot. On the arc, Lakers with the rebound. And you could tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. Yeah, he may have had space, but the defense did a nice job closing that gap quickly. Detroit leading by three. Thompson outside. There's the pass to Harris. No good, shot missing. Great D that time from Davis. 
And so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up for the Los Angeles Lakers. And following this game, they'll challenge the Grizzlies on the road at the FedEx Forum in Memphis. That will conclude a five-game road trip for him. Here's James. The layup off target. Well, he continues to make the effort, but the results just aren't there this quarter. Here's Thompson, and Davis sends it back. A two-way star, AD, has led the league in shot blocking on multiple occasions. Cunningham against Russell. Lock at six. Here's Thompson. Well, sometimes it's just not your night. But despite his struggles, they're ahead in the game. Davis, the pass to LeBron. Here's Reeves. Yes, it's James time picking up the out. assist. James has got six assists here tonight. And how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. And now, let's present our New Balance Player of the Game, Cade Cunningham. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game, and it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. The Pistons lead it. It's tipped. Davis against Harris. Six on the shot clock. Trying to end the drought. And off the glass. That one's good. Harris has got 24. And time and time again, Harris stepping up with plays to help his team. That guy is a gamer. Pass to Hachimura. To the left side wing. Russell against Cunningham. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. It'll go, and the Detroit lead is cut down to one in the bucket from Anthony Davis. Cunningham kicks to Ivy. Pass to Harris. One fifty-three left in the fourth quarter. Good D by LeBron. Loads it up for Davis. Here's Thompson to the paint and stolen by James. Here's Davis. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. Ivy wishes to Thompson. Here's Cunningham. Good. And Harris gets the assist. Cunningham's got 47 points. Big time points from Cunningham. Good to see him stepping up in these moments. James up top, guarded by Harris. Duran pulls it in. Pistons leading by three. Pass to Harris. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That one on Davis. And you like how physical 
Harris can get inside. Always looking to initiate contact on offense. Shooting two. He hits the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. He's just one of those veterans you can count on from the line. Harris really makes an impact from the strike. And a tough break is his second attempt at the line. No good. Hachimura finds James. Over Thompson. Reeves in the corner. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Yeah, that's just sloppy. I mean, you can't lose control of the ball like that and let it get back across midcourt. Yeah, but errors like that happen. The important thing is not to let them compound on you. Stewart's checked in for Harris. 43 seconds left to play here in the fourth. In the corner, Ivy with it. Sinks the triple. Time out, time and the Pistons lead by seven. They're in total command of this game with time starting to run out. Yeah, and at this point, the focus is take care of the ball, no needless fouls, and no threes. And the Lakers call time here. They're trailing by seven. 35 seconds left in the game. the pass to Davis. It's good! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Go get it, big fella. A basket they needed desperately, and Davis delivers in the clutch. First free throw is good, and that increases their lead to six. And you have to appreciate the all-out effort Jay Nivey gives you on the court. He works so hard to find ways to get involved and prove he belongs here. Second free throw, no good that time. He really wanted that one. And looking for a very quick shot here. And then foul, trying to extend that game. And when Davis gets going, you are in trouble because he will just power through you to get to his spots. Well, they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. No choice but to foul there, but, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. So the first one drops, and that puts them up by five.
And so he drops them both. It's a six-point ball game. Taking care of business at the line. Converting on all those free throws helps them build this lead. Timeout called the Lakers. They're behind by six. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? Uh, they need a quick basket here. Yeah, and if they can get a decent look from three, that's the shot to take. Not a lot of time to work with. Chimura kicks to LeBron. Goes back up. Davis, the pass to Reeves. His three-pointers off the mark. And now they decide to foul intentionally. at the lock and it's an eight point game and so the Pistons take the win even early on in this one it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight and it makes a big difference and once they started to really play in rhythm you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win and that about wraps it up for Stan Van Gundy Greg Anthony and David Aldridge this is Kevin Harlan Thanks for being with us tonight on 2K Sports. We'll see you later.